It's queer, isn't so it? So that's recording and that's recording. Yeah? Do you agree with that? Yeah, that's, that's recording. On. But they got different symbols. <laughs> right. <laughs> Welcome to technology, <laughs> ladies and gents. <laughs> we don't know. But it's so it's so strange, isn't it, that 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 you can't tell often. Despite how, how technological we think we are, you can't actually tell what's going on very often. Not really. I mean, we're, it's a leap of faith that these are recording, isn't it? We're looking at these numbers tick up, but yep. that could be completely meaningless. Like, this what's is going the... on inside of the machines? Yes. Do the machines have dreams? Do the machines have dreams? And this is something... Oh, my goodness. Have you been yeah. reading uh, about some? <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave me waiting. <laughs> Uh, transhumanism, posthumanism. I've heard of transvesticism. This is interesting. This is. Um, do you remember last time we were speaking outside the Ritzy? And, um, oh yeah. I was saying that uh, I was thinking of this this sort of idea where um, we're not we're not from God. We've not come from God, but we're going towards God. Mm, that's interesting. In that, um, as as our technology, I mean, again, I mean, for all this talk of hive minds, this is mm. the, this this is the ultimate one. That we're creating these technologies to you've heard it all about sort of uploading our consciousness onto a bigger yeah. frame so yeah. then it's just about the whole rather than individualism it's about the whole mass of human minds and then that combined with obviously ai and uh, nanotechnology once we've got nanotechnology we can start to terraform and indeed stellar form and if you've got a consciousness that can build or destroy planets it's all encompassing. You've you've got God, right? You've created God. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get in touch with my bank. <laughs> so, so this transhumanism thing, and it's um, I mean, yeah, obviously it started as a sort of science fiction idea, as or, as a lot of good ideas do. But there's very very real research going that way. There's very very mm. real money. What's his name? Uh, the Elon Musk character. The Elon Musk. Yeah. And, yes. Yeah. And, and others have started to sort of refer to themselves as, as transhumans, where they're looking for this thing. The idea is that you know we get rid of this meat and bones machine, and we're, we're free of the ailments of illness of aging. It's all about getting rid of death, basically. Mm. Um, so through artificial intelligence, and then the interesting question is, at what point does artificial intelligence become? Just intelligence, yeah. it's just not, you know. Yeah, how do you define intelligence and consciousness? Yeah. It's funny. So the, the only thing, like the last thing that the human race has to do to be able to get to this transhuman thing is create a machine mm. that's slightly more intelligent than humanity. <laughs> and then that will then in turn create more intelligent machines and there'll be no need for us anymore. But... <laughs> <laughs> you can find this funny. <laughs> I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, is there, is evolution a bad thing? You know what I mean? Is, is there a judgment on that? Um, when we first came out of that primeval sludge, mm. did that creature not personally? But <laughs> did did that creature have any notion of what it would become this amount of mm. time later? The answer is no. Can we have any notion of what we will become in an equal amount of time in the future? I think the answer is no. No. But. I think the danger of this sort of thing as well is, which I think is the danger of a lot of the organised religions, mm. is to postpone reality. Mm -hmm. So as for a promised land, for a promised land, as the Christians do with their heaven, uh, the the, the post-humanists yeah. will do with their post-human um, consciousness, mm. and that's problematic oh, for indeed. the here and now. The communists with uh, the post-capitalist uh, utopia, sure, controversial, yeah. but you know there is it's there true. is something theological to a lot of ideologies. I find, yeah. Yeah. and and you know there, there's sort of traces of, of a theological mindset or or, some, or something like that or a fundamental. Fundamentalism, possibly. Um, well, every, every everything asks you for a leap of faith, right? Mm. Everything asks goes. Look, we haven't quite got all the evidence in. Yeah. Basically, scientists uh, who are doing particle physics and the sort of most experimental levels of uh, um, of reality in terms of nucleuses and protons and neutrons and stuff. Basically, this uh, and the Planck scale and all this, the smallest things. Um, there's certain things, in, uh, from my understanding, there's certain things in particle physics that can't be explained in 
in 3D reality. So, so there are relationships that they found that between twin like particles. They, they, if one, if so, if something is done to one, the other one reacts as right. well, even though they're way distant to each other and stuff. And it's, I don't know if it's beyond the speed of light and things, but. The, the, so there's there's question marks that there are conundrums that can't be answered through our current understanding of the, the universe three D mm. and and what's been suggested and it's gained some currency now is the idea that uh, and this sort of relates to black holes as well the idea that this entire universe is like a three D hologram it operates in the same way so they think that. It makes more sense in terms of the relationships that they've found on, on certain Planck level and all this stuff. Um, that that there's a two dimensional reality from which this is projected, uh, and that explains a lot of the, the issues to do with what happens to matter when it goes through a black hole. What happens to, I don't know, loads and loads of stuff. Right. Um, and and so that's a really interesting conversation that's happening at the moment okay. because it then makes us question well what is because obviously we know that there's basically space in everything and so it's just the things that are matter um that the you know there's more there's space still within them but it's it, there's vibrations of energy so everything is at different vibrations of energy and there's loads of vibrations that we we're not aware of that we only perceive so so that's really interesting and, and it's also been suggested that the brain itself might operate as a, as a hologram as a whole hologram because they, they worked out that they can't they, they can't locate places where memories are located and stuff so even if different bits are removed the, the brain works as a holistic um, thing more, more like a hologram which is fascinating yeah um, I mean I, I reach my intellectual ceiling very quickly when it comes to particle physics and Don't we all? again like the like what we were talking about before like the religious thing or the political groups thing it demands i think of most people mm. a leap of faith again into some yeah. direction which is why i understand the theological folks argument of well you don't know either yeah do you see what i mean yeah. you're asking for a leap of faith you're asking for the same thing that we as religious people are asking yeah. for. So I, I understand that, but I think the difference between those two groups of people is the scientists are continuing to look. Yeah, that's Still it. looking, still looking, still looking. Whereas to me, it's never good enough to say, yeah. that's the, that's the answer, what's next? Totally, and, yeah. and that's the beauty of, <coughs> you know, science, we should always remember that science is, is the study of what we know so far, mm. or what we haven't disproved so far, and the, there's a. I think there's an inherent humility in it because we we don't know. It's the mantra. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah, there's yeah. more that we don't know than what we do know. It's fascinating. Yeah, it is fascinating, and and the uh, the hologram thing. I think I've sort of heard uh, that sort yeah. of thing. It's the is it the same as the. Um, um, we're living in a sim simulation. That's in, all, essentially it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which, I mean, again, if you can't disprove a thing, then you have to be uh, agnostic Open, about so, yeah. it. There's an interesting theory about the holographic universe. Have you heard this? No. Uh -oh. Well, it's very interesting. Uh, basically, particle physics... <laughs> memory, memory full. <laughs> it's saying there. What do, you, do you think we should just carry on with this? You were saying. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs>